everybody, Lisa here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to 31 Days of Tarot. Today is day nine and we are going to talk about tarot goals for 2019. Um, first though, I just a quick shout out to Ethany who puts this together every year. It's a fantastic series where you get to know all of us on Tarot YouTube land who are participating. We share our favorites from 2018. Little, um, We answer a bunch of prompts. One video every day for 2019. It's a really fun series. I hope you will check out some of the other videos that are also out in this series and I will help you do that by linking Ethany's video down below. She typically will keep a list um, on her videos of all the participants so make sure that you check that out. If you're new here please do subscribe if you want to be notified about future videos. There's like a bell that helps you notify but YouTube doesn't always, it doesn't always work, I'm just gonna say. But, bell is better than no bell. So, moving right along to my tarot goals for 2019, they are lofty because I am moving into a depth year this year, so my goal is to get deeper into stuff I already have, and to do that there's a few little things I would like to accomplish. So, I'm gonna just touch on a couple because I think a couple others I'm gonna end up touching on in other videos, but first of all, I really, really wanna finish this book. <laughs> So this is Tarot and Astrology by Corinne Kenner, and this is a fantastic book. I got eh, about a third of the way in, so I think I got through the major arcana um, in this book. So what's neat about this book is that if you already know astrology, it's designed to help you learn the tarot by using the astrology as a reference point. But if you already know tarot, it's designed to teach you astrology by using tarot as a reference point. And that is the camp that I am in because I struggle with astrology. Um, one of the reasons why I ended up putting up this, putting this deck, this is not a deck folks, just so you know. This is a book. <laughs> oh, sometimes. Anyways, um, as you can tell if you're new here, I don't do a lot of editing or jump cuts in my videos because I'm ridiculous and I feel like you guys should get to see that. Anyway. Uh, one of the reasons I ended up putting this down is because I felt like I didn't have a good deck I could reach for that had astro astrological associations on it. But as an early Christmas present, my sister gifted me with, let's pull it out here, the um, Chiro Marchetti's, or Marchetti, I'm not sure how to say his name, I'm sorry, but I think it's Chiro. Um, this is the Tarot of Dreams. This is what the backings look like. And what I love about this deck is that the astrological and elemental associations, okay, that's a terrible example. Let's get out the majors here or a different one half. Here's some astrological stuff. So astrological and um, elemental dignities and things like that are really apparent on this, the cards in this deck, and they're very visible and easy to see. I don't have to like hunt for them in the imagery. Um, so I'm really actually excited to use this deck alongside um, this particular book. And so yeah, I think that was the one thing that kind of held me back because I felt like I couldn't, it was harder for me to remember, and this will make a great deck to play along with right beside this book. So I want to make it the rest of the way through this sometime in 2019. That is probably one of my bigger goals for specifically studying tarot or tarot books. So that is my goal 2019. I'm gonna make it happen. That's what I want to do. Um, the other thing I would like to do is just get more cozy with my Pip style and my Marseille decks. So I will be putting these into my regular rotation throughout 2019. So I rotate my decks. Um, I either do that consciously and pick decks, particularly if I want to get new ones into use, or I use a random name generator and I put all of my decks in a list and I let the app tell me which decks I can choose from, usually two or three out of my whole collection. And that is what I will work with that week. So these are going into, I've got two Tarot de Marseille decks specifically right now in my collection. I have the Marshmallow Marseille, which is this little guy here. And I also have like an, an inexpensive basic Conver Tarot with um, ink or Conver version of the Marseille with English um, titles on it. I believe it's got English titles. This has all got the original um, French titles on it, but I really enjoy reading more Pippish now, um, and I think I'll also be able to get more comfortable in the same way with my um, other Pippish kind of decks. So I'm hoping that will help me with decks like the Star Child or um, possibly Tarot of the Moon Garden if I don't rehome that one. We shall see. But I've got a few decks that have more Pippish um, style minors, and I just want to be much more confident and comfortable with them by the end of 2019. And that's probably, I think those are probably my two 
biggest goal specifically for uh, further knowledge. The other thing I'd like to do is just do more live readings here on my channel, which is something I'm already starting to work into my schedule. So sometimes I will do them on a Saturday morning or on a Monday night, but I will be hopefully doing more of those as we move it through 2019. I really enjoy giving free, like snappy, like readings like that. It's really fun for me and it helps me to get to know my decks better as well. So I really want to focus more this year on diving deeper with the decks that I do have, getting to know them better, getting even more comfortable with my collection. And I don't collect just to collect. If it's hanging on the wall and I don't want to actually use it, it doesn't stay there. So it's really important for me to be comfortable with everything that I have and feel like I can pull any deck for any purpose and really get a solid reading off of it. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on through 2019. I would love to hear what you are going to be focusing on through 2019 for your tarot. Do you have specific goals, books you want to finish, courses you want to do? Um, if you've been wanting to learn Marseille, I've got my Tarot de Marseille on Earth series here on YouTube so you can have some company along for the ride and you can use Tom Benjamin's Tarot and Earth book. I mean, I'm just saying it's an option. But no, in all seriousness, I am curious what you guys are going to be focusing on finishing, learning, completing. Is there a deck you're going to study? Is there new stuff you're going to dive into? Tell me. I want to know all the things. Uh, that's it. That's all I have to say. <laughs> so that's it for today's 31 Days of Tarot prompt. I will see you all again for tomorrow's prompt. Have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you all again very soon. Bye-bye.